Lacey here. Welcome back to Code to Create. In this video, I will show you how to get started with the new Google Generative AI tool for developers, which is the Palm API. In a few minutes, we'll get the sample running, and I am going to use Python with the Google Code Labs. Let's get it started. Now I am on the Palm API website and there are some details and tutorials about their generative AI models. Let's click the prompt gallery. I will choose the extract names to JSON. I feel a lot of times we need to convert text to the JSON file. So let's click preview, see what it looks like. Here is an example of the Python code. And in order to start with this Palm API, we need to enable the API key. Let's click on Enable API key. Now it takes us to the Maker Suite. Because I am located in Canada right now, I do not have access to Palm API or the Maker Suite. So what I would do is I will actually just use a VPN. You can just click the create API key in new project or create API key in existing project. So what I will do is I will just copy the API key I have created before. Let's try ex extract names to JSON file, open in Maker Suite. So now I'm here you can just write your prompts and then you can get the code going. I will just click run and you will get the correct answers in the correct format. What I can actually do is I can click get code and I can open in Colab. This is a tool I really enjoy using because it's more similar to a developer editor. It has all the code being pasted here. You can see they help you install all the correct libraries for Python. And I click run and it will go through all the libraries. So everything went well and the restart runtime. That's good. We can move to next one. Here it's asking for my API key. What I will do is I will paste my own API key. And press run. And sometimes this is the palm is not defined. Basically, it just cannot find the services. Let's run the first session. So everything is working this time. It did not ask me to restart the services. So hopefully it can reach the Palm API. So that is working. It reached my API and let's asking it to run the main code. So the prompt replied to me with all the answers. Press again. So here are the answers. That's pretty nice. So one thing I want to point it out is this collab converted the text into an encrypted string, which in your real code you do not have to do it. So you can actually just put a texture string here. What I will say is Tim, Susan, and Macy went for picnic at Tom's backyard. Respond in JSON. So I will copy the exact questions. Who are all the people place names in the paragraph? Let's run this again. 
So here I got it. I got category as people. There are Tim, Susan, Macy, and Tom mentioning the sentences. Places, there's one place mentioned, which is backyard. So this is a very, very quick example of the Palm API in Colab. Once you have this set up, you can use it for many other purposes as what they mentioned in their galleries. Basically, you have a very smart AI working for you. You can make a chatbot, you can make an assistant. The sky is the limit. I hope you got everything running and working well for you. Thanks for watching. Since Palm API is still at its early stage, it's not available to everyone in every country at the moment, but I believe it will become more accessible in the near future. And stay tuned for more tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.